So she loves Belinda, who's running the camera right now, but I always have her sit before going through boundaries, gateways, doorways, curbs, everything, as you've seen. Hey, look up here. And then if she waits, I'll get her attention. Good, she looks up at me. I reward her like that. There's none of this. There's no bending over. She'll look, look up at you and you reward her, just like you saw me just do. That's all you have to do. If she's not looking at you, you can say, hey, or her name, and she'll look up and, and you can do that. Or do what you saw me do, which is to tap her with my finger like this. She looks up at you. Good. You want to put the food by your face. So she's really looking up at you. It teaches her to have eye contact with you. That's really important. And then to go through this gate. Okay. Sit. We got a second gate. I got it. I got it. I got the gate. We got a second gate here. She's going to wait. See how there's always a loose leash. You're never holding her in place. And then she walks through. Okay. And then, if you're gonna release her, like, why don't you go over there and show me doing this. So I came through this gate. Okay, I'm coming through like I'm all by myself. And I'm gonna close the gate. And now I'm in my yard and I can release her to be free. Sit. Always release her from a calm sit stay. Don't let her take off through the, the gateway or doorway and be free because she'll start lunging through gateways and pulling you through doorways and across boundaries and stuff. So we don't ever want her to go back to doing that. So she's in the yard. No, I didn't release her yet. Okay, normally I wouldn't be talking like this and I would have already done it. Sit. So she comes through the gate, you have her sit. No, see? If she anticipates it and jumps the gun, I said no, I did a do-over circle, I put her back, she knows exactly what happened, and I make sure she waits until she's actually released, or else she'll start doing that more and more. Go. If you do that, just be really careful and make sure you're a stickler for details like that. It's all in the details. If you don't do that kind of stuff, you'll have nothing left, and she'll ignore you and just do her own thing and be, uh, you know, rambunctious again.